Hello everybody, my name is Angel Hester and welcome back to How To. In this one, we are going to be talking about how to edit the mod files within the various Star Wars Empire at War mods. Now, before we go any further though, I would need to remind you, um, back up anything that you're about to do. Because if you make a change that ultimately changes... Something kind of critical, there's a good possibility that it's going to, uh, for lack of a better term, royally screw with your game. So make sure you have a backup. Don't, don't, don't make the same mistake that I did when I first started doing this in that you do something and then thinking, oh, I'll just memorize what I changed and then end up not remembering. Because I did that when I first needed to actually edit these because when I first started I wanted to make the game harder not easier although this time I only do it based on what you guys tell me to do except I most of the time ignore you on making it easier anyway but but that's beside the point now in order for us to proceed we have to actually get to hold on let me disable I think no that's worse okay there we go Okay, please ignore the glare and help. Okay, you, it's kind of hard to ignore the fact that I'm pasty white, yes. Anyway, but getting back on topic, we need to get to where our file is for the game. Now, for me, I have it on Steam, and it's in my E drive because it's a larger drive, and I only keep critical stuff on my C, so... In order to get there, blah, 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 skipping all that. Now, here's the critical part. If you followed my brute force instructions, it'll be under data. However, we are not going to be touching it in here for... Well, if you followed that instructions, then it will be in data, but for Awakening of the Rebellion, it'll be under mods. Now... If you see a whole bunch of XML files, or XML documents in this case, you're in the right spot, because it'll have numerous, and when I say numerous, I mean every single change will be right here. Granted, there will be other things, but this is only covering the basics, because... I don't know how to edit the textures, the models. I only know how to edit the XML documents. And one of you, I it's been a while since it's actually been asked. But in Awake or not Awakening, in Thrawn's Revenge, I actually did edit the files to give the Corellian Corvette I think it was four times the number of hard points when in fact it was just I just quadrupled the firepower of the um, Karelian Corvette. So to do that, okay, we have to first find, okay, units. Where is, ah, here it is. For that specifically, we'll go to Notepad. And Kyrak Cruiser, same principle. All you basically do, copy the hard points and paste. That doubles the... Well, whoop. Now, be sure to remember to include a comma um, after where you copied. Because if you were to, say, copy like that... Whoops. Copy like that without having that, it's going it's going to be one of those interesting programming things that is really going to screw with your uh, game. I don't know if it'll cause it to crash, but better safe than sorry. Um, other things, well, it's kind of self-explanatory. Hi, Jesse. One of the dogs. Like, hyperspace speed, that's how fast in the galactic map it'll move. Maintenance cost, I don't think anything costs anything. Except for when you build it, I've never seen it. But I'm not deleting it just in case it does do something. Um, pretty much everything is kind of self-explanatory, like the encyclopedia text is the text file for the ship in question, 
good against what it can actually shoot at or be good against. Most of the time, though, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, so don't change that. Otherwise, you'll fool yourself into thinking otherwise. Um, like, build time is how long it's going to take in the galactic map to build it. Um, build cost, how much it's going to cost. And, like I said, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Now, one aspect I still suffer with is the abilities. So, as a general rule of thumb, I don't touch them except for the recharge time and the expiration. So, for the Karak Cruiser, it's going to increase the amount of firepower, and if I wanted, if or if you wanted to, you can make the recharge time one second, but have the expiration time so long it's like, eh, it doesn't matter, but... Because I do have a Let's Play I need to worry about, I'm going to make sure that whatever I do change, I revert back. But that's why I prefer using Notepad++. You can use any other text editor, but for the sake and purposes, I prefer Notepad just in case I do do something like that. It's back to normal. Like if I decide, okay, no, I don't want to do that. And so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's not exactly rocket science, but this is the extent of which I actually do edit files. So with that said, I, ugh, it's late. I still have ugh. accounting is a long process. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to studying before actually doing Empire at War. So, hopefully this has helped you, so thank you all so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. And if you have any suggestions or questions on this or other things that I haven't talked about, let me know down below in the comments. Bye bye. Are we creeped out yet? Yes? No? Okay. We're editing that out, right? Okay.